hello and welcome to the penultimate line battle of the season. I'll dispense with the theatrics today since the season is pretty much over. However, that does not mean that today's match is without any meaning. Today we play the Spartan Hoplites. A regiment renowned for having a... Well, I mean, they're called the Spartan Hoplites. I mean, what do you think they're renowned for? But the reason I say that this match isn't completely without meaning is because we have a history with the Spartans. Allow me to elaborate. Now, this is really just directed at people who don't play NW, right? Because I'm going to tell you something now which may blow your mind. Fuck knows it blew mine when I first heard it, right? Which is that there is genuine animosity between regiments in the game. I'm serious. I'm not even joking. Like, if I go on the 15th versus bots server with 17e tags, I'll get banned out of hand. No ifs, no buts. I just get banned, 17e, he's scum, banned. That's that, right? Now, I'm going to tell you one such story of how such animosity could be built. Now, it was around about May or April time that the second CSG disbanded, and this was more or less down to the fact that the officers fell out with the leader, the leader then being a gentleman called Spartan, who was also the fellow who recruited me. Now, I'm going to tell the tale of the events as fairly as I can, so I'm going to tell them from my perspective. From what I heard, Porkins and Posh went and spoke to Spartan, and basically told him that he wasn't, you know, being all that nice to people, because, I mean, say what you want about Spartan, right? He was a good leader, he knew how to set up a regiment, he was a good recruiter. But he wasn't the best man manager in the world. Okay, he could be, you know, very Brit. He could be very abrasive and condescending, and just, you know, sometimes just make you feel like shit. So the officers went and spoke to him about this, and he just sort of ignored them. That's the story that I've heard. I've never heard Spartan's side of the story. Posh being a major at the time, and Porkins being the colonel of the cavalry, both left, and then loads of people started leaving with them. And so, Spartan disbanded the second CSG. I popped into Teamspeak a few hours later and basically said to Posh, "What's the story?" And he said to me, uh, well, we've left the second CSG, it's been disbanded, would you like to join the new regiment? I'm like, yeah, what's it called? And he's like, 17E. Okay, sure, I'll join that. And that's basically how the 17E came to be. And that's also how the Spartans came to be, because Spartan left and formed a regiment called the Spartan Hoplites. And both have shared some degree of success. I mean, they've both gone on to be fairly well-known, established regiments. There was some bad blood for a while, but it's more or less gone now. I play with most of them in the planet side outfit that I'm in, so, you know, they're more or less cool guys. Also, the guy that leads them now, Spartan's not the leader anymore. The guy that leads them, a guy called Rizaki, he's great. You know, I play with him on planet side all the time, he's good fun. Anyway, sorry about the history lesson, I didn't mean to preach. Anyway, on with the game now. With the stakes mounted so high, there's no way we could possibly li- Oh, alright. Shit. You know, it'd be shame to pass up on this opportunity. There's gotta be some way I can implement a 300 theme into this. <sighs> Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll do it, um... I'll put the whole thing in sepia, right there. And I'll do the voiceover as yeah. that guy who played Faramir. I forget his name now. Yeah, that guy. Tis but an eye, but the gods saw fit to give me another one. It's fun to do voices. I'm gonna do more voices. Yeah! My lord, I offer my service to you in battle. Well, you see, there's a problem with that. Which is that I've shot bigger things than you. You're short. And I'm tall. Wait, no, watch this. Awkward. <laughs> yeah! Did you see that? What did you do that for? Now I definitely can't use you, you fucking dingbat. <laughs> There was no footage of the second round, as I was too busy playing with my dick. Both sides agreed that there would be no officer targeting, and both were following those rules diligently. Real classy, guys. The stalemate was finally broken when the 17E finished off what remained of the Spartans, leaving only Razaki left to face the remaining three members. He failed, like a bitch. The Spartans clearly not used to fighting in the open. What? Why am I doing the voice like this guy? Surely I should be doing the voice like Xerxes or something. Yeah, okay, I'll change, change. The Spartans, clearly not used to fighting in the open, were unable to form their phalanx, and we turned their flanks, destroying them in a melee. Clearly not trained to fight man to man in the same way that the 17E are. Ha 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 Although the points towards the lead no longer count, the true prize here is pride and bragging. But yet, how can they ever hope to defeat us when Leonidas himself fights for us? Mind you, they have a gentleman called Sparta. I feel like he kind of missed the point there just a bit. Holy shit, it's the black guy from Alien. Or is it Avery Johnson from the Halo franchise? It's very difficult to tell. Many sci-fi themes are being blasted around. 
After the map changed, we found ourselves on a new plane, enameled by rock. Seriously, they're fucking everywhere, just look. Except for that one part over there that's covered in bushes. But fortunately, we did not go over there. The Spartans seemed impatient to meet their inevitable demise, and drove us into melee after melee. Not that we complained, they were very fun rounds, and we all had a wizard jolly good time. Ultimately, the game ended with a score of 7-3. Truly, no pushovers were they. <coughs> Jesus Christ. So, if you'd like to join a regiment which settles its differences the old-fashioned way, why not join the 17E? I have been the Jampad, and goodbye.